In this video, I'm going to teach you how to sell your products for top dollar to anyone at any time. True story. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu. Tell you what, if you're looking to start a business, if you're looking to develop a hustle, if you're looking to develop some generational wealth, this is the place to come, this is the place to be. Go ahead and slap that subscribe button. Now, this is going to sound very, very strange. You don't need a product. You don't need a service. That's not the first thing that you need. The first thing you need is a customer who has a need. One of the biggest reasons that so many people who try to sell something try to sell it to the wrong person. Yep, that's the problem. You're trying to sell something to someone who doesn't want it. And you're wondering why selling is hard why selling is bad. Selling should not be a struggle. Selling should be a process of elimination. Let me explain. Let's start off with a car. This car. It's an Audi S4, right? Now, it's a 14-year-old car. There's a lot of people who would not want this car, but there are a number of people who do want this car. So my job as a salesperson isn't to talk to everyone that doesn't want the car, my job is to find people who want the car and will pay me twelve to fourteen thousand dollars for it used. This is the biggest secret to selling: having a customer who wants your thing, having a customer that trusts you to sell it to them. Trust is a big, big part of this because. Let's go ahead and say with my course, Hustle Camp. If someone comes along and they watch a video and they're like, eh, I don't like this guy. Eh, he seems sketchy. I really don't know about that Glendon camera. They're not going to buy. It can sound good. It can look good, but they're not going to buy. Now, what I have to do is create an environment of trust. And since this is a digital meme, I have to, one, put out content, two, display through lifestyle evidence that I am living well. This is called subconscious selling because when I tell you I have a shelf, when I tell you I have a maid, when I tell you I live in a very nice neighborhood with millionaires, it reinforces the subconscious selling because you don't know this, but I'm going to tell you that many times someone's trying to sell something to you and it's a no, not based upon the presentation of the product. It's a no based upon the presentation of the salesperson. Years ago, I used to sell cars at Union City Chrysler Plymouth. There was this guy by the name of Ron Valentine. Now Ron looked apart, he had the gold Rolex, and he just looked put together. And he would go in and he wouldn't be very salesy. He was like, hey, my name is Ron. And he would literally spend 15 minutes just talking to these people. Not about the car, not about the feature. He would like, well, hey, what are you looking for? Well, let's go look at this. And he did this step-by-step -step process. First, regardless of what they said, he took them to the lowest bare bones model. To answer your questions, we're going to do that on this base model. And if you want something nicer, I'll be happy to show it to you later. See, this is one of the things that Ron Valentine knew, that if you sold someone on the upper line vehicle, and they couldn't get bought or financed by the house, It was the deal was no-go. So what he did was he gently inserted them in the base bottle model and he looked for reactions because Ron was a master salesperson. He learned to relate to customers. So instead of taking them to the most expensive vehicle thinking, oh, I'm gonna get all this commission, right? And then I would sell them on a vehicle that they could not be financed on. You have to present trust like Ron, he looked apart, he was easy going, he talked well with the customers, and he never actually pushed for the sale until it became time to become a salesperson. Because one of the things of selling anything to anyone is to know when to sell, when to chill, and when to lay back, and when to press the, the customer, when not to press the customer. It's like this dance. Let's go back to Union City Chrysler Plymouth. You have this van. It's a Chrysler Caravan. You know that this guy, John and Susan and Timmy and little Amber, they come in and it's a family, so they need a van. But you don't know what their pockets look like and you cannot assume incorrectly that their pockets are fat because what they'll do is go 
to another dealership and buy the van that they could have bought from you. And that's a lesson I learned from Ron. So the first thing is have a customer who wants what you have to sell, who needs it and is willing to pay. Second, you must create an atmosphere of trust and you must befriend the customer. I had this conversation with someone on Facebook. Selling is dead. Everyone knows that you must become very good at social media to only have a chance today, right? When I was having this conversation with this youngster, I realized that this person didn't know that I knew that 90% of all commerce transactions happened off of line, which means that selling, cold calling, calling people on the phone, they still work and they still work very well depending upon your industry. Everyone is trying to sell digital products or everyone's trying to sell small products or everyone is trying to do that online profile when they're leaving so much money on the floor, on the table, on the roof, all over the place. They refuse to learn how to sell. The third part to selling anything to anybody at any time, closing the deal. Now, this is an extremely important skill set to learn. You must know the appropriate time to close the deal. This is the, the part where it gets a little tricky. These windows that open can open and close at any time. Let's go back to my car. We're selling the Audi, the guy comes in, his eyes are wide, he's looking at it, it's a molo yellow, he wants it. I was like, here's the keys, give me Four, you know, give me 12,500, it's yours. Okay, he's ready to buy. There is no dance to be done. There's no point in going up and down and features and bit. No, he's ready to buy, you can see it. Now, let's go ahead and say another guy comes for the Audi, right? But he's like, hmm, I don't know. Uh, he kicks the tires, he looks at it, he looks at the mileage, and he's just kind of laying back and it's like, I don't really know about this, and he's, putting negatives on the car like well there's some problems with the paint looks like curbing on the wheels right he is so ready to buy he is so ready to buy but he has to buy in his own good time because the more negs they give the more depreciation of the asset that they try to bring up the more that they want it and they're trying to get to a certain price point so this is what i would say to this guy it's like look clear that you want the car what is your price? What do you need to be? And he says, really, I need to be at 12. I like 12, two is yours. Cha-ching and so. So you could sell anything to anyone at any time, but you must do your homework and you must know that you're selling to the right person. Let's go with Hustle Camp. It's not for everybody. It's not for most of the people who watch this channel. I know this due to the fact that I've had this channel for years and years and years. I know due to the fact that I get a certain level of viewership, certain people are just gonna come along and they're just gonna buy Hustle Camp. So my job is to present, to provide trust, to provide proof, to actually be a person they like, yeah, I feel good about click buying that product. That's really it. It's no more complicated than that. It's not, it's seriously, it's not that complicated, but this is where most people go wrong. They want to make the sales process super complicated. They want to build out all of these funnels. They want to create this amazing, intricate funnel with, with backlinks, upsells and downsells and all this other stuff when they haven't learned the fundamental basics of selling, period. And this is why I can sell a $1,350 course. I could sell a $1,350 course with relative ease because I understand the selling process. I understand how that you must identify. Now, how do you get this experience, right? You must start selling something. It's just that simple. You cannot hack it. You cannot fake it. You cannot play around with it. You must go out and actually try to sell something to someone. And in the beginning, like it was for me, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be challenging. You will make many mistakes, but that's where you learn. Hopefully you found value in this video. This is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu. If you like the content of this video, and you should, be sure to subscribe and also go below and get on my email list. And if you're ready, and only if you're ready, go ahead and enroll in Hustle Camp. What it'll do is teach you how to balance out, get your budget together, 
make more money, and then build a company. Now, how valuable is that? <laughs>